All right, so here we go. I have my black girls can cook two apron. Hubby, turn around. Have Judge. Judge. See, Carly be with it. I love her. And here is the scorecards. It's about to happen. Is that for me, babe? Yeah, here we are filming live at the Scales Kitchen. Today is the official day of the cook off. So it's basically Carl versus Jasmine in the cook off today. And the theme is upscale Asian. Upscale Asian. And they're arguing already. So this, this, this should be very interesting. <laughs> Say the least, so stay tuned. All right, judges. So it, your job is very important today, and you guys really need to take it seriously. It's one sheet. Oh, it's only one. Yes, oh, oh, it's got good. different sections. Okay. So listen, today there's going to be two rounds in this competition. Mm -hmm. The first round is the appetizer round, and keep in mind that the theme is upscale Asian. And when we say upscale, we're not talking about no white tablecloth type restaurants. We're talking about white tablecloth, fine dining. So, so hey Jazz, how are you feeling about today? I am so excited. My husband really thinks that he's better than me in the kitchen. I'm not gonna go too hard on him because I love the fact that he cooks, but today I might have to put him in his place. Oh, okay, all right, we'll be looking forward to it. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing upscale Asian cuisine. Right. Asian is more his wheelhouse. Um, <laughs> but I know how to cook. So you can give me anything, baby, and it's gonna taste good. All right, all right, we're looking forward to it. Okay, Carl, and- I don't have no comments, my food gonna speak for itself. <laughs> okay, all righty. <laughs> we're gonna be judged on four different categories. The first category is called game play. So we're gonna talk about how well they did in this category today. Um, they're also gonna be um, judged on creativity, plating, and taste. And then we'll average those up and then we'll get the winner. Now, in terms of gameplay, honestly, they did a pretty good job. So the budget today was $50, that $60 for the game. And both people came under $60. So they both should get max points for gameplay. Okay, so gameplay points are 15 and then everything else is 10 points for each category, okay? So now the judges are aware of what their role is. And we're going to get this game officially started we're sharing the same sheet right now. now, 536. 30 minutes. Hey. All right, so Albert, you're a judge in today's competition. What, yes. what are your expectations today? Who do you think going to win? I expect oh. Carl to, I to take the today. W today. You do? I, I mean, do. I think, he's, I think he's been oh. underestimated. Under, I always root for the underdog. Okay. All right. I always right. root for the underdog. And then Olivia. How you doing today? I'm great. I'm just ready for food. Okay, and, and, and what are your thoughts on today's competition? I think it's going to be a very close battle. Both of them are great cooks, but I'm rooting for my big sis, of course. Okay. Oh. Gotta root for my big sis. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and Zaya, yes. how you doing today? Good. All right, so what are your thoughts on the competition today? Um, I don't know which one's going to win. They both can cook good. So. They both cook well? All right, so you just excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me ask Carly and Little Judge, yeah, yeah, who do you think is, is going to win today? I think Daddy's going to win. You do? Well, and what are, what are you expecting from this competition? I expect um, <laughs> yes. I expect Daddy's going to make the best food. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks a lot. Jesus. Well, they scored 15 as the max. Gameplay is including if they're doing everything that's part of the game. So keeping in budget is one aspect of the game. Making the correct theme is another aspect of the game. Is it upscale Asian? So you really gotta wait until they finish the first dish to decide what that score should be. All right. I'm biased. Jasmine's working yeah, over here intently. Uh oh, she got out the one time I wrapper. Like, oh. Looks like she's gonna make a little something fancy. Meanwhile, Carl's over here working on some lamb chops for his appetizer. I love this. <laughs> so what are you working on for your appetizer? I'm doing a teriyaki lollipop lamb. Mm, teriyaki 
Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. I love lamb. I love lamb. We do love lamb. I like lollipops too. And Jasmine, what are you going to grace us with? I am making pork belly wonton wraps. Mm. That sounds fancy. <laughs> 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 How you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. Okay, hey, you're 15 minutes oh, left. Jasmine has already gotten out her items to plate. Wontons are done beautifully. She's cooking off her meat. Sauce looks done. Daddy, 15 minutes. Carl got his meat on the grill. Go check that out. Chops are cooking. Looking good. Uh, I don't see the spoon. Okay, she gave a little smear. Fancy, fancy. Eight minutes, Daddy. Eight minutes, okay, Daddy? Okay, baby. Eight minutes. Good job, Carly. That's right. Good job. Welcome. <laughs> Carl, your, your sauce reduced down nicely. Thank you. Should be a lot more intense in flavor now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Jasmine's like, over here separating her meat. Oh. Hmm. That's good. Pan right I'll now. Have I have a. a, a Carl's working with. Okay, Carl got the plate with the smear on it too. Look at Mr. Mr. looking like. You want some, Mr.? You ready to eat? Five minutes, five minutes remaining in the scales kitchen. Where's her phone? Oh, you're using it. Five minutes remaining in the scales kitchen. Oh, okay. I wanted to get her picture. What is that? Teriyaki lamb. Teriyaki lamb. Lamb. That's what you gonna get. This is his appetizer. It looks phenomenal. Great glaze on it, babe. Oh, this is so good. Thank you. All right, so the judges are going to decide who's gonna get the wrap. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. 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 Just wait, hold on one second, you guys. This one yours, mommy. Okay. I'll put, oh, yeah. it, put it right there. Okay. okay. Thank you. And then this is mine. Looks phenomenal. They did an awesome job. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and give it a taste. The wonton dish is hitting on all of the senses, okay? It has a nice crunchiness to it. It's savory. It's sweet at the same time. It has... um. The filling, the meat, has like a several different layers of flavor to it. And then the sauce, the sauce uh, just makes it, ties it all together. And I really love the addition of the bamboo shoots because it gives it a little crisp, extra crunchiness and a little freshness. The acid that you need to kind of balance it all out. So yeah, it's very good. The sweet sauce, you gotta have the sauce. Okay. So now everybody's gonna be trying the lamb. <laughs> What you think? <laughs> you like it? It's good. I'm <laughs> ready for my meat. Okay, you guys. So we just finished round one of the competition, and the votes are in. And it was a really tough race. 
So we're not gonna reveal who the winner is until the end. So now we're moving on to round two and that is the entree round. And in this round, they're gonna have 45 minutes to wow us with something spectacular and upscale. So I'm looking forward to it. So we're gonna go talk to them and see what they're gonna be making. <laughs> they're, they're cleaning up this place, trying to get it together. Carl, what's your plan? I'm doing a fried lobster fried rice. Wait, what time did they start? Fried lobster fried rice? Yes. Okay, lobster fri fried lobster okay. fried rice. Okay. They didn't start yet. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be making a ginger Thai rice with a cucumber salad, a cucumber sesame, um, sesame oil salad, and a orange glazed lamb. Mm. Okay, sounds good as well. All right, judges, how do those sound to you? Sounds oh like God. a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> sounds great. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I'm excited. All right. So we're going to be starting shortly. And they're on. Everybody's prepping. For hey, rice. Albert. You guys, can you keep it down, please? Prepping for a rice. Jasmine's using one of her fancy gadgets for her rice. I can't cook rice. Right. <laughs> She's using the Instapot. And Carl's taking the old fashioned route. Put his on a pot on the stove. So whatever works. Like. Spiralizing. Got the little spirals happening. Looking good. Fancy, fancy. Just buy a sharpener. A sharpener? I don't have a sharpener. I, it's like I know it, but like, you know what I mean? I know it, but I have to look at it. What you working on? <laughs> Making my dressing for my cucumber salad. Yeah. Jazz, you know who I'm dressing as for uh, Halloween, right? No. Oh. Carl's working on his lobster. Yeah, lobster on my face. Well, I was gonna say we can do that. Carl, you can get back. Eighties. Get back. What are you talking about? MCM or his eighties, I thought, right? No. Is he nineties? He's 80. He's 80. Yeah. So, Angie Hammer was out when I was in high school. And I was in the 80s. Okay, so that is his lobster poaching liquid. That's 80. Lamb loin chops. Yeah, all in here. Huh? Brush up on you. It's are Look. Look at it. Perfect. 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 Jasmine need to chill her salad too anyway. I made a marinade girl. I use sesame oil. We have some brown sugar. We have the orange glaze. We have um, a little bit of mirin, wine vinegar, um, ginger, salt, pepper. That's it. They're sitting here soaking it up. That's for sure. Okay, I have a sesame glazed cucumber crunch Asian salad, ginger rice, and a orange glazed lamb loin chop. This is 
my dinner dish. Carl made a brown butter lobster fried rice. He got his rice mold. It looks so good. He made this whole thing from scratch. And it looks phenomenal. So it was a really tight race. And we're going to just take each food item at a time. So in the area of appetizer, uh, the, the, for gameplay, I have a possible 15 points per person. We have Jasmine coming in with 60 points. So she got all 50, 15 points per person. Carl came in with 50. Okay. And creativity for the first dish, uh, Jasmine came in at 37. Carl came in at 28. On plating, Jasmine came in at a 39, Carl came in at a 33, and then on taste, they were tied at 34. Okay, so that was for the appetizer. Um, Jasmine wins the appetizer round. Okay, for round two, the entree. Yay! <laughs> Both came in with a 59 for gameplay. Uh, for creativity, Jasmine had a 37, Carl had a 35. For plating, they came in at 36 a piece, 36 each. And for taste, Jasmine had 38, Carl had a 39. Mm -hmm. So the average score for both rounds, Jasmine came in with a 42.5, <coughs> Carl came in with a 39.25. So I'd like to just think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so round, round, one, round one was the round. Round two was close for you guys. Yes. Round one. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. The, the I told you what it was. Creativity, the creativity wasn't there. It wasn't, you know. I told Jazz picked them plates first. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I said. I was like, it was the plates. The plates, bro. The plate was. Thank you, guys. Okay. We challenge. My husband doesn't take well to not when he he. You should see him in spades. He can't get everybody out of the house. Um, his was what? Oh, you want to walk away? Don't do me like that. It's a video. Come on, let's do it for the team. This is authentic. Thank you, babe. He's you okay. guys did a good job. You did a great job. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Can we do commentary? Yes. I'll start. <laughs> Okay, what you, got to say? what you got to say? I feel like they was trying to bribe us because they picked all of my favorite foods. <laughs> so I gave them both the same score on all of them. So y'all did the grades. Y'all are definitely the better cook couple. Olivia can't cook, so you know, it's just, it just be me. It's too late. I already did it. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> and you? Oh, my commentary. Um, Both, both of them did great. Um, the main course was definitely my favorite for both of them. Okay. Appetizers were cool for both of them, but main course, they both came in hot. Okay. So, that's how uh, I feel. So, me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, they were both really good. Uh, oh, no, so like it was very, very good, and I, and I love mommy's food, and thank you for... <laughs> I'm telling y'all, don't uh, have so a daughter your first. Money? Over. Right, Mama, what you feel? So, for me, I thought they both did a really good job, and I think where Jasmine got the edge was on the creativity and the plating, especially for the first dish, the appetizer, because it was totally creative, mm -hmm. right? Um, but the taste was for both of them was there mm -hmm. on both. Um, dishes and then on the uh entree i really liked how both of them taste the um, butter lobster was really good for me but that was the only part of that dish that i liked was the butter lobster whereas on the other dish the salad i liked a lot and i liked the rice <laughs> the jasmine rice a lot um but, you know, I thought the lamb chops could use a little bit more orange because that's what the name was. So I was looking for that, that that's orange citrusy. flavor. Yeah. And I, I didn't get that as much, but they were cooked well. I just needed that more orange on it, like some zest or something. But yeah, but other than that, it was, you know, a very good contest. They did a great job. Yes.